Hey, good evening, guys. And uh, yeah, tonight you join us on Walking Street, Patea. We're just going for dinner. King Seafood. You looking forward to this, aren't you? Yeah, lobster. <laughs> no, no, I'm Scottish, come on. You love shrimp and that's it. Come on, let's see what's for dinner. Uh, so this is where we are heading. King Seafood. Let me take you inside and show you what's cooking. Posing again. But it has changed here a little bit. All these kind of seating arrangements are fairly new. Yeah, so this is one of Nong Nui's uh, Hungry Hub finds. She loves using that app. She, uh, we went out for breakfast this morning and she's like, so where are we going today? Where are we making a video? And she's desperate to try seafood. Fish tonight, I wonder. Special You've fish. ordered special fish, yeah? <laughs> what kind? It's a sea bass. Sea bass, okay. So this is, um, how much? 890. 890 includes uh, water, includes uh, two rice, one dish from menu A and three dishes from menu B. So <laughs> I'm sure there's something in there that I like, is there? The menu B. BBB. Yeah, BBB. <laughs> BBB's two cuddles. They told me last thing. Yeah, so it's quite a big menu, so I will put it up. Where will I put it, honey? Over here. No, 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 this side, look, I've left space over here. So I'll put the menu up there. The prices you see on there are, are the restaurant prices, including VAT. Tonight, 8 90 includes a VAT, includes a service charge, everything. So, yeah, you, you can have a day sitting out on the, overlooking the bay, seafood but, uh, restaurant. This open late. An open late, yeah. Five o'clock. In the morning. Oh, in the afternoon, sorry. God, I'm stupid today. Yeah, what she means is it doesn't open till five, so uh, for your hungry hub bookings. But it's perfect for dinner. Actually, it's too hot. Too hot during the day to come and sit here. Yeah, you wouldn't enjoy. If I say, come on, I take you sit outside at three o'clock no, in the afternoon. No way. No chance. I can't only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so. You can see there's quite a lot of things on the menu there. Uh, something for everyone, even the, even the people that don't like fish, you'll find something here, I'm sure. Yeah, so today central, yeah? A little bit of shopping. <laughs> well, it, about three hours, it was, <laughs> Yeah, well, we didn't get anything. But it, I'll tell you what, the place is busy. Um, and we, this morning, we both went out with Friday, yeah? That bit of beach between Pratnak and John Tien, and the beach at 10, it was pretty packed. There was mostly Russians, yeah? Russian and Indian. Some Indians. But tonight here, Long's telling me most of the people are Korean. Yes, yeah, so we're filming this on the 11th. Uh, tomorrow's 12-12. In Thailand, they seem to have this thing about 11-11, 10-10. They always have promotions. Tomorrow's 12-12. Good uh, promotion in gold shop. In the gold shop, don't you <laughs> start? <laughs> uh, before we went to Central, we went to Royal Garden Plaza and uh, it was not so busy. But you've been working hard this week, eh? You've been doing a lot, this yeah? This month and last month. <laughs> yeah, you've had a busy time. So, what did you do for a treat today in Royal Garden Plaza? Royal Garden. Mm, you forget already. Oh, cost me, cost me 20 baht. <laughs> <laughs> massage my back and my neck. <laughs> you know them chairs that you see sitting about? I have never sat in one. No, I said it wrong. Oh, you've got a sore neck. Let's see if it helps. Ten minutes. God, she was shaking and wobbling. And, <laughs> right? Feel better. I feel, it was good yeah. though. Yeah, you enjoyed feel it. good. So much so, she was like, oh, <laughs> would it be worth getting one in the shop, you know, for... Sometimes people have got to wait 10, 15 minutes and well, they can sit and have a massage before they get their hair cut. <laughs> Good idea. Yes or no? <laughs> yeah, let, let us know. <laughs> let Nong know. Good idea. She's got plenty of space. She's got a big shop. Oh, here we go. Just be careful my phone. 
So this is uh, Norm's sea bass arriving. Wow. Crab. Yeah, so there's the sea bass, complete with head and lemon sauce honey, yeah? I'm glad I'm chained to this. Yes, you're happy. I have water in my mouth. <laughs> you want to try, honey? I uh, no, no, not at all. Not I even. pick uh, I, no, I no bone. No bone, no skin, I don't care. It's okay. <clears throat> okay. It's good. So, I had no idea what I was getting, as usual. So there we go. Uh, chicken and cashew nut. Oh, well, it'll be a surprise for us both. You uh, ordered something Chinese because you checked if it was spicy. Yeah, chicken with red white sauce. Oh, sorry. There's a bit of a there's a bit of a fire on the go. I'm glad it I'm glad it was you and not me. Look, I would have gone up in smoke. <laughs> It's um, it's, a, it's above average. Nong felt guilty because menu A, she wanted to order something I would eat. I'm happy with this. Mm, they have steaks on there, but you don't get fish off it, honey. Mm, very nice. Mm, good. If you love fish, you have to try this one. Sea bass. Why they have two types of uh, sea bass? White sea bass and red sea bass. Okay. So this one is white sea bass in lime in, juice. In, I think it says lemon sauce, but in Thai it says manau, okay. which is lime. So we got a, what's that one, honey? Chicken roast chicken with red wine sauce. Roast chicken with red wine sauce. There's my chicken and cashew nut again, and over here, pork chop and french fries with garlic bread and pepper sauce. So for two people, four decent sized dishes. So be, be prepared to be hungry. I not have to prepare mm. to be hungry. Mm. I'm hungry <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I've kind of stopped asking, are you hungry? I know the answer. <laughs> okay, let's try a bit of this chicken. It, it says red wine sauce, but it looks a bit, a bit like ketchup. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Definitely ketchup in it, but the good news is the burner has gone out on the fish. It was getting a bit scary at one stage, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, nice chicken. Mm, good, huh? I'll give you some bacon. I tell you, the chicken cashew nut didn't look that big. It's a big portion. Um, I had the pork chop last week, so... Can I steal something? You can steal anything you want. French fries. A big pork chop. Hmm? Want to take it over? Pork chop, be share. This uh, expensive one. Five hundred baht, yeah, on the menu. Mm. Very good. On your plate. I take some uh, collagen. Oh. <laughs> collagen, she means like slime. Slime? 
guy? Yeah. I, one guy wrote this morning, do you ever cook at home? It's, it's kind of hard. We wake up in the morning, Nong won't eat cereals and toast and all that kind of, she might, kind of thing. She might have, uh, like, boiled eggs and soldiers at a push. Mm -hmm. So normally we go out and have some Thai food. It's dirt cheap. We're about 120, 130 baht for breakfast for the two of us. And then she's off to work. So I normally go and pick her up some lunch from somewhere. You know, a light snack. And then she's working right through. And it's too long a day not to have anything to eat. So I either pick her up some somtam, sometimes a pad thai or a duck and noodle. And they're all fairly cheap Thai foods. And then invariably, I never know what time she's got to finish. It's meant to be 6.30, but it might be 7, 7.30, even later sometimes. So it's kind of hard to gauge if you're cooking. So, no, we don't cook at home that much. And you enjoy cooking now? Hmm. So we do cook at home sometimes, but during COVID we cooked at home a lot because we were sat at home. I think one of the problems here, if I try and cook using ingredients I'm used to cooking with, it costs more or easily as much as what it does to go out for a meal. So it doesn't it doesn't work out expensive going out eating here. I mean these these kind of meals, these are this is a big big meal for us. This is not a normal. This is for you guys. You would eat that every night, eh? Fish. I love it. Mm. So good. Well, you've still got plenty left. Yeah. I thought it was nearly done. It's about one kilo, this fish. Really? Yeah, it's big. Big fish. That's why they... Is that one of the ones I was saying hello to in the tank on the way in? <laughs> really? Oh. I gave them all names. <laughs> Poor pork chop. Sat there by itself. <laughs> there must be a big Indian party down at the other end. Nong's finished her fish, including the head. Now she's going for the pork chop. Good girl. I'm eating a pork chop, but I cannot get my eye off the you, chicken. You're watching the chicken. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't manage a pork chop or the, the rest of the chicken, so... You still eating chips? <laughs> she says, I better eat the veg, it won't be good tomorrow. And then she, uh, <laughs> oh, cock and crab. Yeah, 890 baht, you're on the sea. You know, you're in a, a tourist town. It is a cheap, cheap night out. Yeah, so there was the bill there. It's just through the Hungry Hub, it's one, one fixed price, 890 for everything. That's us. Let's head out in the glamour of Walking Street. See what's happening. Only Nong could find something to buy on Walking Street. Eh? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, she's found some. Uh, I don't think they're real. Real. <laughs> Yeah, so thanks for joining us guys at King Seafood. And I'll tell you, but a big doggy bag to take home, it, it was a massive meal, too big for us. So, uh, yeah, you taking me to the windmill? No. <laughs> there we go, that was a no then. So uh, thanks for joining us once again. We'll see you next time when we're out dining in the day. Bye bye for now. <laughs>